Good morning boys and girls and welcome to today's lesson. So today we are starting our second week of our second lockdown pack. If you guys are not part of my school, I have put the lockdown pack in my Google Drive. I'll add the link as well for you guys to get the lockdown pack if you'd like to work with it. Remember this lockdown pack has no printing needed and we are just working in our books, we're working with flashcards and we are becoming super, super, super smart little children. So you guys can see I have set up my cupboard in a really cool way. I've put up some alphabet letters, I've put up the colors, I'm still going to be adding some more, some more things like some shapes, some numbers and days of the week. So I think it will be quite exciting. I am still busy doing that. It's taking me some time in between recording the videos for you guys, making all the stuff for you guys, and then cleaning my own house and cleaning my house and all these extra things. So I will be getting that done soon. And I hope that you guys are enjoying this lockdown pack. Please let me know, parents, please let me know how you guys feel about working with this lockdown pack. Do you guys prefer needing to print things or and then redraw it if you don't have a printer? Or is this lockdown pack where you don't have to actually print anything working better for you guys? I know the workload for this is less. It becomes a bit strenuous if you do have to draw the, the tables and all that. But just let me know what you guys think. If you are watching and you're from my class, you guys can send me a WhatsApp message. And those that aren't from my class, you guys can pop me an email. Thank you so much. So before we begin, I want to go through our shape song. So let's go. Circle, no sides, oval, it's like an egg, square, four sides, rectangle, uneven sides, triangle, three sides, diamond, rhombus, starlight, star bright. He ooh, hexagon, six sides, pentagon, it's like a house, 3D shapes are fat not flat, a cone is like a party hat, a sphere is like a bouncy ball, a cube is like a dice you drop, a cylinder, a can of coke. Now, let's grab our flashcards. Remember, I have asked you guys to please practice reading your flashcards every single day and work on that every single day so that we, got, we, that we guys, so that we can learn to read even better. Our sight words that are on these flashcards are words that we can't spell out. So it's not like n it, n it. It's words that might look a bit funny, so we just have to practice looking at them and remembering what sound they make or what word they make, okay? So this is the last week that we're going to be working with these flashcards. I have asked that you guys put them up around your house so that you guys can practice them every day, see them every day. So let's do that. I'm going to show you the flashcard and then you are going to say it out loud for me, okay? Old, by, his, and, him, Any, her, how, has, from, let, As
ask. And the last one, of. I hope that you guys are practicing your sight words and that you are getting better at it. Now, let's go through our alphabet chart. Now, I'm not going to work with this one like usual. I'm going to try and change it up a bit. And we are going to work with this alphabet chart that's up here. So we're going to look at the new pictures that are there and we are going to practice saying our alphabet. So you guys are even going to be tested because it might be a bit tricky. I'm going to move my computer closer so that you guys can see the pictures much nicer and we'll go through it like that. Okay, so let's go. A for apple, B for B, K for car, D for doll, E for elf, that's an elf over there, F for fire, G for goose, H for house, E for ink, J for jet, K for kite, L for lion, M for mouse, N for nuts, A for octopus, P for pear, you guys know what a pear is right? Q for queen, R for rose, S for sun, T for turtle, A for, that's an umpire, M for vase, W for watch, X for x-ray, Y for yo-yo, Z for zap. Okay, so I know this might have been a bit different, I just wanted to see how it works. So I will have a look and see if it looks cool or not, otherwise we'll just keep working with us like we were before. Let's go through our colors, okay? And if you guys can, I want you to try and look at how the, each color is spelt. I'm also going to add it to my screen so that you guys can see the words nicely. We have green, yellow, orange, brown, purple, white, pink, red, black, and blue. Isn't that cool? We know our colors. Give yourselves a nice round of applause, a silent cheer, a pat on your back, and kiss your brains. Let me move my laptop back and we'll move on to the next part of our lesson. So this week in our, in our lockdown pack, we're working very similar to how we were working last week. So last week, you guys remember, we had this table that we drew over here that our parents drew for us and they wrote words over here and we had to try and write the words over there. The words we worked with all had what letter in the middle? They all had a ah in the middle. Good. So this week, so this week we are doing something that's the same. Our parents drew a table for us and they wrote words that we have to learn to sound out, read and write. So the words there that we are working with for this whole week all have a letter in the middle. They all have E in the middle. Now when I say E, am I saying E for ice cream? No, I'm saying E, E for elephant. So let's go through these flashcards that I have and we are going to try and sound the words out and read them. So when we read, remember we do a thing called stretchy snake. So stretchy snake makes you sound out the letters and try and listen to what the word is. Let's try. Okay. If we have the word n e now, some of you might have been able to read or hear what word that is. N -e -t. But what we can do if we are still struggling is use stretchy snake. Now, when we work with stretchy snake, stretchy snake doesn't stop in between. Stretchy snake doesn't go n -e -t. Stretchy snake goes net. Net. 
net. So you try and pull the word out. You stretch the sounds so that you can hear what word it is. Let's do that again. N -et -net -net. Let's do it again. D -e -b -deb. Deb. B -e -d -bed. Bed. Bed. V -e -t -vet. Vet. P -e -t -pet. Pet. Okay. So I hope that you guys are practicing your words. You guys can make flashcards like this if you want. I do also have them in my Google Drive if, you, if your parents can print them. And you can practice reading every single day. This dot at the bottom here is to show you where your finger goes every time you're pointing to a where your finger goes every time you're saying a sound. So when my finger is here, I know I'm saying p. When my finger is here, I know I'm saying e. And when my finger is here, I know I'm saying t. I hope that you guys are getting better at this. If you guys would like to and you are in my class, your parents can take a video of you guys practicing your reading and send it to me. Let's now so I have drawn my table, okay? So over here I have a space for picture, so I'm going to draw a picture over here. Ooh, I wrote my word get very skew there. Then I have the word that my parents wrote. That's very bad. And then over here I have Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay. So for today I'm we can do Monday's work and Tuesday's work. So we take our pencil. And we write the word. So for Monday, because it's the first time we're writing the word, we can look. So the first word we have, let's just have a look together. We have pen, men, pet, let. Now for let, do we have a picture that we can draw for let? No. So we don't draw a picture there. Just make a cross there. We're not going to draw a picture for let. Okay, then we have the word bed and get. For get, we can't draw a picture either. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw a cross by get because I can't draw a picture. Now let's practice writing our words for Monday. We're going to sound the words out and we are going to write them down. P, E, N, pen, M, E, N, men, p, e, t, pet, l, e, t, let, b, e, d, bed, g, e, t, get. So then for Tuesday, you're going to do the same thing where you sound out the words and you write it down under the Tuesday column. So I wrote Monday's words. And then you're going to do Tuesday's words on Tuesday as well. Now the next part, let me just get our worksheet quickly. The next part of the worksheet, or the next part of our lockdown pack, wants you to read the sentences. So let's see, it says, read these sentences out loud. Try building your own sentences using the weekly words. So let's first read the sentences out loud. Number one says, I have a pet cat. Let's try that again. I have a pet cat. Let's go to number two. My, and then there's a big word, that big word says teacher. Say teacher. My teacher has a red pen. Let's do it again. My teacher has a red pen. Number three says, Will you let me go home? Again, will you let me go home? And look at the end of that sentence. We have a question mark. We spoke about question marks in a few, a few lessons ago where we said a question mark means that you're asking a question. 
So I'm not just saying, will you let me go home? I'm saying, will you let me go home? Because I'm asking a question. And the next one says, I will go to bed. Say, I will go to bed. So practice reading your sentence. Then it says we need to read through our sight words, which we've already done, and try to write them down without looking. So if you want to write your sight words down, you can do that. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and write one sentence using my weekly words. Your weekly words are the ones that like pen, men, pet, let, bed, get. Those words that we have over here. These are our weekly words. So we are going to write a sentence with those words. So what I have done, so I've got my table over here, and then over here I have drawn lines. Okay, so all I did was I took my ruler. Parents, please help your kids with this. I took my ruler, I put it on top, I drew a line, made another space, another space, another space. So I just used my ruler to see how big the lines would be. So if you guys don't want to draw lines, you don't have to, it's not important for now. We're not working with lines properly yet. This is just so that we can kind of have a space of knowing where we're working. So I want to write a sentence with the word bed. So if I write a sentence and I write a sentence with bed, so this morning I made my bed. That means I made the sheets right, I put my pillows in the right place so that my bed looks neat, it's not a mess. So I'm going to write the sentence, I made my bed, okay? So I'm going to write it and I'm going to show you guys how I'm setting it out. I, now remember, your I is a capital letter. It's a capital letter because it is the beginning of the sentence and I'm talking about myself. So I, then I'm going to write made, made, um, finger space, my, and then at the end of us, I made my bed, sorry. And then at the end of our sentence, remember, we always end our sentence off with a full stop. So I wrote it like this. I have I, finger space, made, finger space, my, and I didn't have space at the end of my page. So I went over to my next line and wrote the word bed. Look at the words you have and try and think of sentences that you can write. I want you, you can write, I made my bed. That's sentence number one. And then I want you to write two more sentences. So all together, you're going to have three sentences. So I actually realized when I was going through our work pack that I forgot to speak to you guys about the weekly news. So in the beginning of the lock pack for week two, it asked you guys to talk about your weekly news. So weekly news, we are only going to do on Friday, okay? So we're not going to talk about that now. We're going to work with weekly news on Friday. Let's move on to the next part of our lockdown work. So the next part of our lockdown pack talks about maths. And you can see there's a whole lot of different objects over there. And we are working with 3D shapes. So let's go through them. We have a soccer ball. If we talk, talk about a soccer ball, what shape or what 3D shape is a soccer ball. Think about our song. We go, a sphere is like a bouncy ball. So the soccer ball is a sphere. Then we have a matchbox, okay? That's, we would say um, like a cube, like a dice, but actually it's called a rectangular prism. Say rectangular prism. We also have a diamond shape. We have crayons, pencils. We have a can, that is our cylinder. And we have another box. So the, in the little block that I drew, it says, look at these shapes. Can it roll? Does it have corners or a point? Does it have two or more flat faces? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to test some objects. Okay. We're going to see if it rolls. Now, what does roll mean? Roll means it goes round and round. A ball we know can roll. It rolls. Something like my phone. If I put my phone here and I try and roll it, it's not rolling. It's just moving flat. But a ball will roll. So we are going to test shapes that roll. So I brought, I've got this little, I remember I don't have a ball here. So I've got this little ball. I have a toy lipstick thing to see if that rolls. A box of matches. I, I tried to use what it asked you guys to use. Here's another box. A pencil because it asked for a pencil. I wrote a box of crayons. We can test out if the box rolls. And then we can test out if a crayon rolls. So here's a crayon. We'll test that. And then I've got this can that we can roll as well. So what I'm going to do to test if it rolls or not is I'm going to make a slide. So we don't need to make a big slide. We're going to make a small slide. What I'm going to do I'm going, is I'm going to move my laptop a bit back so I can show you guys exactly how I build my slide on my desk. So what I'm going to do, you guys know, a slide usually has, we've got the jungle gym, imagine this is our jungle gym, and then the slide comes down like that, okay? So I'm going to use my pencil holder that I've got and I'm going to put it this way and then I'm going to take a book, a storybook, nope. Okay, so what I use was I just use this book. It balances the best. It's a hardcover book. And we're going to try using the slide like this. Let's try out the ball first because I know that this rolls and I want to see how it looks when it rolls. I'm going to try and see if I can make it go a bit slower when I record when I post this also. Let's look. Did that roll? Okay, now let's have a look at the box. The box is just sliding. Okay, so does the paperclip box roll? No. Let's try the box of matches. It's the same. Let's try a pencil. What do you think is going to happen to the pencil? If I use this lipstick so if I was to make it go like this it would just slide okay because this side over here is not round it's flat remember it's a cylinder so it has a face over here and a face over there so when I hold it like this oh it's going so fast let's try and make it roll slower see did you see that Let's try with this little can. Can you see how it's rolling? Let me just move my phone out of the way. Can you see how it is rolling? Objects that can roll are usually round. So remember, a shape like this is a can. It is a cylinder. So it is round over here. Can you see I can do this? But flat on the ends like a toilet roll okay an object like this doesn't have any round sides it only has flat sides let's look at what the next thing says does it have corners or a point so i'm going to move my laptop closer again so i can show you guys what corners and points are okay so if we look if we look at the matchbox, okay, we remember it has edges. The points are these corners over here. 
where this line and this line meets. This line and this line and this line meet to make a corner. So does a cylinder have a corner, a point, a pokey part? No, but a box does. Does a sphere or a bouncy ball have a corner or a point? No, because it is completely round. So I want you guys to have a look at your objects and see if it has corners or points. Okay. The last question, let's have a look. It says, does it have two or more flat faces? So a while ago, I was speaking to you guys about faces. And I showed you guys my little Tupperware that had things in it. And I showed you guys that that had faces. So let's have a look at, oopsie, sorry. Let's have a look at this crayon box. So it's a bit bigger. A face is your flat side. So this is a face. This is a face. This is a face. The flat part of an object, of a 3D object, is a face. Okay, so here, 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 all around. When we look at our cylinders, this part here where it's round, where it rolls, is not a flat face. But this part here, and this part here is a flat face. So try and look at all your objects and see if it has a flat face or not. I mean, in your books on a whole clean play page, you can draw, you can write the word shapes, and then you can just draw the shapes that you can, okay? And draw whatever other shapes you guys tested. Let's have a look at the next part of our work pack. In the next part, we are just working with sums again. So instead of where it had the number sums like last time, now we have picture sums. So we have three stars. For Monday, we have three stars plus two stars. We have three stars plus two stars makes five stars. Good. So what you are going to do is in your books, let me just grab my book quickly. You are going to set it out almost the same like you did almost the same like you did last week where I showed you guys the table that I drew. I forgot to draw mine, so I'm just going to draw that quickly. But you're going to draw that out. You're going to write the word Monday or write the word Tuesday and then you are going to draw the sums out. So let me just draw my table and then I'm going to show you guys how to set it out. Okay, so for this part, for this week, we don't have to have as many spaces. So last week, remember, we had eight spaces available to draw in. This week, we only need six. So our space is a lot bigger. So can you see I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's write today's day on top of our page first. And you're going to do the same for Tuesday. Today is Monday. So I wrote Monday. Now the first sum shows us three stars plus two stars equals. So in our first block, we're going to draw three stars plus two stars. I'm going to use orange and green. If you can't draw a star, you can draw any other shape as long as you're drawing three plus two. So I'm going to draw three. Three, three. Now I'm going to write plus and then I'm going to write, so there's my plus and then I'm going to write, I'm going to draw two more stars. Okay, so what I want you to do in this worksheet is to be writing out your sum. So instead of writing three stars plus two stars, your number sum is three plus two. So let's get our pencil and we're going to write three plus two. 
and then equals. Remember, we always have to write the equals sign. 3 plus 2, because I had 3 plus 2. So you are writing the number sum using the picture. So last week, you guys wrote the picture sum using the number sum that I gave you. And this week, you're just changing it up a bit. Let's look at the next one. The next sum has squares. It has two squares plus one square. So over here, you are going to draw two squares plus one square. Two squares plus one square. Now let's write the number sum. Our number sum is going to be two plus one. Two plus one equals two plus one equals. Let's count how many do we have all together. One, two, three. Let's see if I have two plus one, three. So I know that I can write three. Okay. So two plus one equals three. So you are going to do the same thing for the rest of the pictures. I have six questions all together for Monday and then there'll be another six for Tuesday, but you're setting it out the same way. On Wednesday, we're starting with something a little bit different, but I will show you guys how that works when we get there, okay? So you guys can do your table with your words, practice your reading, you are going to do your sentences, you are going to do your sums. So you've got quite a bit to do between Monday and Tuesday, okay? Try and set it out, try and space your time out so that you're not too stressed. And let's also go through our reading. Remember, we are reading this page with Deb the Rat every single day. I asked you guys to put it up somewhere in your house. So you read it in the morning when you wake up, before you have breakfast, while well, after you brush your teeth, and we are, we are going to read it today as well. So let's go. I can read. I, ooh. Look at Deb the Rat, said Pat the Pig. She has a red hat. I want a red hat, said Sam the fox. You can't have this one, said Deb the rat. You can't have my red hat, said Deb the rat. It's from Jip the cat. Let's get a red hat, said Pat the pig. Okay, said Sam the fox. So practice your reading every single day. I hope that you guys are getting better at it and that you are superstars. I hope that you guys enjoyed this lesson and that you had lots of fun. Please let me know if you guys have any questions. I hope that you guys are keeping well. Bye.